Hello everybody, welcome to weekly vlog four. Oh my goodness, I actually can't believe it's the fourth what? The fourth Monday that I've been doing this. And I've actually managed to vlog every single day apart from well actually I did I did vlog yesterday morning, but it's just not in this vlog. So this is Tuesday. It is quarter to two. Um if you watched last week's vlog, you'll know a, why I sound like this, and two, why I did not vlog at all yesterday. So I spent yesterday in my bed and editing last week's vlog. Um, today, Annie is here. She is sleeping at the minute. Um, her mummy is on a half day. Well, she's on a course. Um, so she'll be here soon, I think, to get her. Um, and then I am like free. I'm gonna tidy my room just from the whole rushing of getting ready for the gala and everything. It's still a mess. And then obviously Sunday, I basically got up, got ready and then left. And then I wasn't home until yesterday morning and then slept all day yesterday. And then today I've had Annie. So I haven't had a chance to do anything yet. I'm sitting with a cup of tea at the minute. Still drinking all the hot liquids I can to try and knock this cold or whatever this is that I have. I don't think it's a chest infection anymore. Um, I was pretty convinced it was a chest infection. Um, but I've never had one, so like I've no reason to think it was a chest infection. Just I had a bit of a sore chest. Um, but I do think it's maybe just a cold, like a really bad cold or a flu. What's the difference in the cold and the flu? I don't really know. Anyway, I'm sick, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish drinking my tea and then stick on the TV and see what's on. Or maybe watch some YouTube videos. Who knows? I'm wearing this jumper today, which uh, is it from, I think it might be from Bershka. And it's got Mickey Mouse on it. So I'm all cozied up and I have also sports leggings and trainers. Oh, and here's Poe. <laughs> so yeah, I will talk to you in... A little bit. I am just making myself some tea and toast because sometimes, oh, like sometimes you actually just can't beat tea and toast. My hair is so frizzy today, I don't really know what's going on. Um, yeah, sometimes you just can't beat tea and toast. I'm gonna actually set you up somewhere because I can't really butter it. This was one hand. I was just watching Pointless and one of the rounds was Michael Jackson songs and um, like songs on the albums like not just name any Michael Jackson song um, and I got an answer that was 10 points go me it was Dirty Diana just in case you're wondering which you're definitely not <laughs> whenever the ads for Bake Off are on I am um, Watching Zoelle's vlog, Big Off's probably very loud. Well, the ads for Big Off are probably very loud at the minute. Um, also, if you're wondering, this is because I had no tissues. Just in case you're wondering, why the hell does she have toilet roll beside her bed? That is why. So, I'm going to sit and watch. Oh, wait, Hannah, your TV is very loud. I don't know where my remote is, so. I think I'm making another cup of tea. Ryan, he went out of Bake Off. I knew she was going to, but I'm so sad. I really liked her. Just as I'm going to get ready for bed, I just thought I would run through my like evening or nighttime skincare routine. So literally, from taking off my makeup until I'm going to bed, first thing I need to do is get a bobble and tie back my hair. It'll do. So, the very, very first thing I do um, is obviously not necessary for every person and it is taking out my contact lenses. So, if you don't wear contact lenses, you don't need to take them out. Lucky you. If you don't like seeing people poke at their eyes and stuff, I would not watch this because I know some people find it like, oh my god, so weird. I'm just so used to having to touch my eyes every day that it doesn't really faze me. And now I actually cannot see. Before I had my lash extensions on, I would always just take off my eye makeup with, sorry if I'm sweating so much, but I literally cannot see, um, the Nivea Daily Essentials Double Effective 
no, double effect eye makeup remover and I would use that on just a cotton pad but then as I have like the tiniest bit of mascara on and then I just take my eyebrows off with um like whatever I'm using to take off my eye makeup I'm just going to use white these are the Bits Moisturising Facial Wipes I think they're a pound or something so yeah I just take it off Then it is time to remove hmm, oh there, my makeup and to do that I use my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It just looks like this. It's pretty much just a big balm. So I have washed my hands by the way. I have to wash my hands. Well, obviously it's good to wash your hands anyway but um, for taking out contact lenses. You should wash your hands before you do that. So I'm just gonna rub this all over my face. Hot water, face cloth. So for days that I have been wearing makeup, which obviously I was today, um, I just use the first cleanse as literally taking off my makeup. So then I take another wee bit of the balm. I don't take as much. And I basically just do the exact same thing again. And I just pat my skin dry with a towel, although I don't have much water on it. Anyway, then the next thing I do is I get a cotton pad and I take the, the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution and let me see if you can even see this. Basically just put it everywhere on one of the pads and apply that over my face. I don't know if this is good when it stings, but I feel like it is. And it's stinging. <laughs> My next step is my serum and I use the Ordinary, oh I cannot say it, mm, ni ni Niacinamide, it's definitely not it, 10% and Zinc 1%, basically that's it there, I'll, if I remember I will link it or list it below the name of it because obviously I can't pronounce it and I just use like, ooh, that went everywhere, that much, <laughs> rub it in and just pat it over my face. I love using that product before makeup so just like in my morning skincare routine because it is sticky. I don't know if you can hear it but it's actually sticky so I feel like it helps keep your makeup on. Not the purpose of it I don't think but still. Then I take my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream which it's so expensive and unnecessary, but I love it. So it's just my moisturizer. Now, I do not use this morning and night, and I don't even use it every day, like not even once every day, because it is so expensive. I'm just taking my Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. Um, yeah, because it is so expensive, I don't want to use it every day because I do not have the money to replace it very often. Um, it also is quite rich um, and I don't want to like be putting like too much on my skin, I suppose. So um, instead of that, I use something way, way lighter. It is so nice. I really, really like it. It's the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Moisturiser. Um, I'm just taking eye cream on my ring fingers and rubbing it in. I need a new one. It's going all like gloopy. I need to make sure to take some on my eyelid because I have a wee patch of psoriasis on my eyelid so I need to keep it moisturised. I love that eye cream so much. I think it makes you look so awake. Then I have like oh two more steps. I have to apply this every night, which is Dioderm for the tropical, 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 tropical treatment of 
eczema and dermatitis so this is for my psoriasis actually around the side of my nose and I basically just take it on a cotton bud um, you you can take it on your finger but just means you have to wash your hands straight away after and I have always used this method um, because I'm so scared that like I haven't taken out my lenses and I go to touch my eye and obviously it's, a, it's like a skin thinning cream and obviously I do not want that on my eyeball so <laughs> yeah I use combo instead so basically just I have to get really close because I can't see the mirror just spread it around my psoriasis my psoriasis is actually quite bad at the minute because obviously of my cold or whatever it is that I've been blowing my nose quite a lot and like touching it and wiping it and all that jazz so it's got really really dry on any like active breakouts that I want to dry out, I use the Mario Badescu Rang Lotion. So I dip a cotton bud in. Let's see. It's got the pink stuff. And then I just apply it on any active breakouts. My skin being my skin, I cannot remember the last time that I did not have to use the drying lotion on my face. <laughs> Then for loads of scars and blemishes, I just use Cetacream, cream, which is an antiseptic healing cream, if you've never heard of it. I just take it on my finger and then kind of dot it on wherever I want to dot it on, which is usually my whole face. I'm looking so pretty. Stick on these bad boys. I'll finally be able to see you again. <sighs> oh my God, I look mental. I'm just so glad you clicked on this video and you get to see this face. Lucky you. Anyway, I'm going to leave today here. Because I'm probably just going to watch Netflix and then go to bed. So, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. Why do I always have to check what day it is? Like, I should really know. Um, it is... What? I should probably be able to hear. I have Annie today. Um... You've been a very good girl today. Very chatty. Very chatty. Um, yeah, so not really much to report on today. Got up, had Annie. So we've just been having a fun day together. She's in such good form today. Oh, actually, sorry, there is something to report on. This morning I managed to get me and myself. That didn't make sense. Myself and Shane, yes. Me and she and she and she just smiled when I said that. Uh, managed to get us. Are you interrupting me. Managed to get us a uh, picture of this tickets uh, for March in Dublin. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Tomorrow is Westlife ticket day. I just, uh, I really don't, I don't, I don't think we're going to get them, but I'm, we're going to try anyway. Uh, we're just going to get them for Belfast, hopefully, um, rather than even trying for Dublin because we're just not going to get them for Crook Park. Also booked, you just making noises. And um, also booked the Dean in Dublin for a picture of this, so that should be great. You are very noisy. Right, I'm going to see if she actually wants tits. Do you want to go to sleep? Or do you want a yogurt? Oh, she wants a yogurt. <laughs> Need to go get that for her then. <laughs> it is. Oh, dark in here. It's half six. What does that smell? I'm gonna bring my candle out here because that's actually disgusting. Um, it's half six, like I said. Did I say that? Can't remember. Um, my guitar lessons are for for this evening. And I'm just gonna make myself a cup of tea because I'm singing in my guitar lesson. And it's on the fridge, definitely. And my voice just got so much worse. I literally was saying to my student, I was like, oh my god, ooh. get up. Thank you. Um, I was like, oh my god, listen to how bad my voice has got. And she was like, oh mm, god, it has. Like, I was trying my best to sing, and it just wasn't going very well. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea in my. Maybe chip mug. And then, I don't even think I said this. Myself and my daddy are going to see Bohemian Rhapsody tonight. Did I, did I tell you that? I think I, I think I 
think I told you that. I can't remember. I'm sick. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you? Oh god, I said 9 or 10, babe. I was about to say 9, Daddy, that's a bit disappointing. I'm so excited! So, the film starts in 17 minutes. And we're a minute away from the cinema. Already. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh. Oh, you're very close to that car there. Oh, my god. Um, this makes a difference from the last time that I went to the cinema. Where she lifted me after the time that the film had started. He did what? Lifted me after the film had started. Oh, right. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So excited! What are you doing? What do you give it out of 10? Oh fuck, I gave that a 10 out of 10. I got a solid, oh my god. Oh, it was brilliant. It was so good. You know, he was, was. Oh, he was superb. Phenomenal. But you know something? They were all good. Uh, they were. But all oh my god. Ra How do you say it? Rami, Rami Malek. Malek. Um, oh, I like the one, okay? Yeah, you're okay. Both ways? Yep. But oh my god, he was absolutely. Superb. Fantastic. I loved that so much. I think I liked it a wee bit more than A Star Is Born. <laughs> but then that's... Another, well, A Star Is Born just made me cry a lot. I can't really say I liked the film, but... Um, oh my god, that was amazing. Oh, if right. you're in any way a Queen fan, you'll oh, you love it. adore it. I even think if you're not a Queen fan, you would love it. Yeah. Because it's so mental that it doesn't seem like it's a real story. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, Fuck, so I had no idea he went so... That uh, Belfast. I know. Him anyway. Liam. His name wasn't Liam, his name was Paul. Paul, whatever. Hit him. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hit him. Liam Paul, same thing. Uh, same but thing. yeah, Paul from Belfast, what a shithead. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Yeah, obviously. I want to go see it again already. Well, I'm definitely going to see that again. You know something, it's doing it just to see it isn't a big screen. That's I... not even big enough. No, you would need like an IMAX or something. Yeah. Like something. Yeah. And the volume ramped all the way up. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> oh my god, it was amazing. It makes me so, so sad. That you were... That I was... Born after he died. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, on a, it really, really well, makes see, me... I, I watched Live Yet on the day. The title I watched so the whole weird. thing. And it was just... I mean, boy was good. The stone was good. The food was superb. But my god, Queen, Queen came on and they just stole the show. And then they came on later. Oh, did they? Oh, I. And he sang, Is this the world we've created? And I don't know if they sang Love of My Life or not. I would have thought they would have done it if they'd sung Love of My Life. No, they would have shown it there she, because she, yeah, was, she, was she was there. And I remember that. I mean, see, you never heard about her. In all the public yeah. around Queen, you never heard of Mary. Well, I saw a but thing. Yet, when, when he died, you heard a lot about you her. You heard about her. We didn't hear a lot about her, but you heard about her. And I swear to God, you know, then I'm sure she looks nothing like her. But no, she, she actually. Did. As no, she soon did. as I saw her, I thought, that's Mary. Hmm. No, um, I just had kind of looked it up today, and they said she was the one, the one girl that no male could ever overtake in Freddie Mercury's life that like she and literally was the love of his life yeah, that's right. like I feel so sorry for her yeah like so so sorry for her but um he left for everything oh did he yeah well almost everything oh well anyway be filming for nearly four minutes so a 10 out of 10 go see oh, it absolutely. three and a half minutes until West Life tickets go on sale Actually, so nervous. <laughs> so Andy's trying for us. So it's me and Rebecca going, Andy's trying for us. And he also has two boys in his work trying for us. And Rebecca's trying. Oh. I didn't get them. Four people trying. I'm gonna get them. They sold out. 
within one minute and like we were all in the queue. <sighs> I'm so good at Oh well. I am away out today. I am like judging kind of oh shit. A singing competition. So have I mentioned ever about the score basically? It's like the primary school score. So my mommy's waiting on me, so I better go. But that's what I'm doing today. I'll probably just talk to you then whenever I'm home. The top is from Primark, belt is from New Look, jeans are top shop, but our bridal thing. Believe it or not, it is actually the same day that the first clip was filmed. Um, but whenever I came home from the thing that I was adjudicating, or judging, whatever you want to call it, um, I literally just took off my jeans. I do have them back on though. Um, took off my, I'll see you up here, I'm gonna light a candle. Took off my like dressy top, went, okay. Went to the shower, uh, washed my hair, scrubbed off all my tan, so I am like so, so pale right now. Um, Cause I just really, really needed to scrub it off. So I did that. Um, and then now I am just like in my comfies, kind of, but I do have jeans on, so I don't look like a complete clump, basically. Um, because I do have a few guitar lessons this evening, so I didn't want to be like, and saying that I always look like a, like a complete shape, like terrible, but anyway, not today. This needs clothes because I'm annoying. Yeah, so I'm wearing this big cozy hoodie. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and obviously, and then I'm gonna put it on some toast as well because I had like no breakfast this morning. Not like no breakfast, I literally had no breakfast. Oh, there's cereal actually. I made some cereal. I'm gonna frost the shreddies. Yeah, mommy, since when do you buy these? Um, yeah, and I had no breakfast, and then I had like a few sandwiches and it's gone up at the score thing. Um, so I'm starving. It's when I eat eight, like now. And then it'll be dinner time by the time my lessons are over. It's just the type of day it is. Very, very busy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Friday. Um, last night after my lessons and all, she ain't come over and I just, uh, I wasn't filming so that's why there was no footage from last night. It is now 10 to 3 on Friday and I am just about to meet Rebecca for some lunch and I am very hungry so I am very excited. <laughs> Rebecca's here too, but she says she looks ugly today, so I'll go right up to your neck. No, don't even. There we go. I just wave. Oh my god, that was vile. I actually just employed Rebecca to an, unpa an unpaid employment. Are you going to give me £3? I'll give you three pound if you really want okay. um, to take Insta fix. And there's the postman, so I'm going to put away my camera. It is time to go to my gig now. I'm just going to leave my camera here because I can't be bothered crying in a bag. Pretty much. But I will see you when I get home or else tomorrow morning. Good. So I'm home from my gig. I'm just going to stick the kettle and toast or something. Because I just realised I did not eat dinner. So um I'm really hungry. You know when you just weren't thinking about it and like shit. 
Don't need dinner. I'm actually starving, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm so cold. Like I am so cold. <sighs> Hello everyone, welcome to Saturday. It is what time? It's quarter to four. I obviously am not just up or anything. I have been up for um hours. <laughs> I had a makeup to do this morning for Kira. If you're watching this, hey Kira. Um and then I've just kind of sat chilling all day. Fire's on. Sam has got a bath. Sam is the dog. Um, she has got a bath and now she is sitting in front of the fire drying because it is freezing outside. So she's going to have to stay inside basically all day to make sure that she's literally crisp dry. Look at all the redness and like scarring on my face and it really shows it whenever I'm so pale. So I am going to do a wee bit of work now, get my laptop and yeah I'm just going to like update my music playlist for weddings and, and stuff like that and not much else, not much else to report on, you can see me in the background, hey me, I'm wearing this top which is from Daisy Street and then just some black jeans, look at all my rubbish in the back, I really need to sort that out. Again, hey me, they shit my hair. Need to sort this out later. Sam! No? Okay. I was told you could hear me in the background of one of your vlogs now. Very good. We had an agreement. Sammy! Somebody's being a bit clingy today, aren't you? Now with six months free from crypto. Sam. Smart to business to the world's hardest. Sammy. Now with up to 50% off your first six Hello. months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. I cannot be bothered going. But you know you gotta do these things. What? Your job. <laughs> Where are my car keys? Oh, I need my Vaseline as well. Watching me. Oh. Oh. Right. OT and Graham. They're good. I'm so red. Home from my gig. Now, obviously, I'm not home anymore. Um, Shane, is it? Do not want to be in it at all. You haven't been in it this week. There's Shane. Um, we are now heading in. Why are these lights still red? Like nobody's walking. Why oh, they were red for very long and nobody's driving? Um, me and Shane. Sorry, Shane and I. She, Daddy always corrects me. We are heading in to here another person sing pretty much in a bar that I sing in as well and look at the shape of me like look at the actual shape of me welcome to Sunday everybody um it is what oh my god I literally always do this I get a sonar you probably don't even care what time it is anyway it's ten past two I have been up for a while I've had my dinner and all um, let's see dinner earlier on a Sunday. I don't know if... Really interrupted. Um, I don't know if other, like, places do that, but it's pretty huge in Ireland for your dinner to be earlier on a Sunday. It probably is that way in the rest of the world. I'm just catching up on Strictly from last night. I have about 40 minutes left. And that is really all that's happening. On my lips I have a Rimmel lip pencil and one of the Maybelline 24 hour blah, 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 things. Um, whenever I put it in my bag later I'll show you because I have a gig this evening. So I'll be bringing it with me just in case I need to top it up. And that is that. I'm wearing the same jumper as I was last Sunday. Black jeans. So not very exciting. But anyway, I'm going to continue watching Strictly. Well, the dust in this car is actually a disgrace. So I'm ready. <laughs> wow, what an angle. Well, the, the thing for my car, like, um, what do you call it? Like holder thing, my camera holder, 
phone holder is broken so I promised I would show you what was on but what was on what is on my lips if I could find the lip liner that would be superb so it is the Rimmel was it lasting finish is it like 1000 yeah 1000 kisses lip liner in 004 Indian pink and then my Lipstick is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 10. If you can see it. Dreamer. And that is what's on my lips. So I am off now to my gig. Just leaving the house. I'm gonna stop at the shop and get a few big treats because then I'm heading over to Shane's. I think that's the plan at the minute. Although where I'm singing, I finish at half seven and it's a good hour away from Shane's house so like I won't be at Shane's probably until about quarter to nine so like by the time I'm packed up and stuff like that hopefully I can just get away maybe not get away a bit sooner but be really really sharp out of the bar and everything hopefully wish me luck when the filling station that you go to only has Tetley and open drama tea. Raging. Raging. This is what I'm doing. Love tea. This is my stuff. Just home from Shane's. Well, I've these on already. I am going to make myself a cup of tea. What mug do I want? This even though I'm not 21. Definitely not 21. Look at my pervy skin. Oh. I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make, ooh. I'll put light salted caramel. Jokes, I have some minstrels in my room. From the cinema on Wednesday. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a cup of tea. And then, 